While we're all used to hearing the word drought, what exactly does drought really mean? Well, here in Southern Nevada, we've been in a drought now for over two decades. As meteorologist Bree Guy explains, there is more to the drought than the water levels at Lake Mead. According to the Federal Weekly Drought Report, we recently dropped down a tier in drought severity, but the need for water still remains an issue and one that we aren't going to be able to solve anytime soon. When it comes to drought, Southern Nevada has consistently been near the top of the list of areas most affected. Water levels at Lake Mead are a big part of it, but it's actually much more complex as USDA meteorologist Brad Rippey explains. So we're looking at everything from groundwater to stream flow to reservoir storage. In the winter, we're looking at snowpack. Uh, and then it goes to precipitation, of course, at things that happen above the ground, temperature and precipitation. Southern Nevada recently saw an improvement to our drought conditions during monsoon when looking at the U.S. drought monitor. But there is a difference between a long-term drought and a short-term drought. And where we have seen improvements is in the short term. And so from a summer perspective, things aren't looking too bad. And that's kind of where I get to the point of where things look a little greener, if you will, than they normally would this time of year because of the robust monsoon. But at the same time, there's this undercurrent, this underlying drought that just has not gone away. So it's going to take a lot more than flashy monsoon storms to bring us out of the drought. The monsoon rains are important and a very important part of the, the ecosystem for the American Southwest. They tend not to greatly boost soil moisture or reservoir storage. Rippy says we are heading into a third year of La Nina, which is a large scale climate pattern that can help boost summer monsoon. But La Nina also signals a warm, dry winter, and it's the winter snowpack that's key to helping improve drought conditions. The drought monitor will be updated again tomorrow. To read more about it, you can visit our website, ktmb.com slash drought. Free Guy reporting.